Around 35 CE, a man named Saul of Tarsus came. He later changed his name to Paul. Paul was a Roman citizen, a Jew, and the enemy of Jesus Christ. He was a zealous persecutor and killer of Jesus Christ's faithful followers. En route from Jerusalem to Damascus, Paul claimed that he saw the light when he saw Jesus Christ appearing to him, filled with the Holy Spirit. He was chosen and commanded to teach and preach acts that Jesus Christ never did to the masses. Paul taught concepts contradictory to what Jesus Christ and faithful followers of Jesus Christ were teaching. Paul provided no proof as to what he claimed to receive. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. While Jesus Christ is the central focus of Christianity, the founder of modern Christianity is not Jesus Christ. Instead, it is Paul, because the version of Christianity that has survived is not the version that Jesus Christ preached. Instead, it was the version that Paul preached when he claimed Jesus Christ came to him in a vision and told him to preach new concepts. He converted to Christianity and wrongfully began calling people to worship Jesus Christ and spread strange teachings. Due to his power, wealth, and relationships, people started to adopt these strange beliefs and teachings, while the true disciples of Jesus Christ disapproved. The disciples clashed and argued with Paul because of his innovative and bizarre teachings, and the New Testament references this fact. Many Christians mistakenly took him as one of the disciples of Jesus Christ due to his claim that he was, but he was not, nor did he ever meet Jesus Christ. While some Christians elevate Paul to sainthood, Paul was responsible for destroying the teachings of Jesus Christ. He told people that they did not need to follow God's laws, even though Jesus Christ suffered and struggled to convey the message of God which included teaching people to obey God's commandments. Many people took Paul's word and believed him, even though Jesus Christ never violated the law of Moses that came before him, even though the Bible clearly states, Till heaven and earth pass away, the one that breaks the law will be called the least person in the kingdom of heaven. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commandments and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verses 18 and 19. This verse explicitly states that anyone that breaks the law or teaches others to break the law will be called the least person in the kingdom of heaven. On the contrary, the verse states that whoever practices and teaches the law will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Almost all of the concepts of the modern-day teachings of Christianity, including the concept of Jesus Christ being the Son of God and the Atonement, are from Paul and not from the teachings of Jesus Christ. As such, the teachings of Paul contradict the teachings of Jesus. While prophets of God performed miracles to prove they were sent from God, such as when Jesus Christ healed leprosy and the blind, Paul did not perform any miracles or show any proof whatsoever that he was carrying the word of God or even the words of the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Paul changed his name from Saul to distance himself from his former reputation as an enemy of Jesus Christ and a prosecutor of Jesus Christ's disciples. Paul met the disciples of Jesus Christ occasionally, but was not fortunate enough to live in their company. When he later came into the picture after the departure of Jesus Christ, he made some severe changes to the religion to win over the Gentiles, non-Jewish people. 
He introduced what became vital concepts of Christianity, including the idea that Christ is the Son of God, that he sacrificed himself on the cross to save humanity, and that all one needs to do to enter paradise is to believe Christ died for his sins. Half of the New Testament is written by this man who never met Jesus Christ in his lifetime. Yet Christians do not question the authority of this ex-enemy of Jesus Christ, and thus take his word as truth.